Hello everyone, this is Orkshift Cooker and I'm here with Wizards 101! I have already started three characters, each in, in the three most powerful classes. Death, Life, and Myth! But I decided to start fresh so I can show you all how it's done. Meet Headmaster Ambrose and Gamma. Look, Gamma! Finally we have found one! Young wizard, a student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Oh, really? Where? Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets? Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. If it's all the same with you guys, I'm just going to skip it. Now, here are the schools we have access to. Storm, Myth, Life, Fire, Ice, Balance, and Death. The first character I made was Death in the form of Flint Titan Fist. The second one, Life. Can't remember the name. And Myth, the third one. So I currently have a character in three out of the seven, seven available schools at the start. So, what we're going to do is choose uh, Fire. And this month, in August, I actually purchased some crowns in the game, so we have access to Firecat Alley, Triton... No, wait. Firecat Alley, Cyclops Lane, and the second world, Croctopia. And of course, the three sections of the Dark Cave you need in order to access the Great Tree. I know that's not his name, and for those who actually have finished or are still playing Wizards 101 today, well, you know the deal. So, let's get into the fire Pyromancer School. Wizards, Fire Wizards, also known as Pyromancers, carefully fan the flames. Their speciality is utilizing damage over time spells to slow burn their enemies to cinders. Fire wizards are incredibly powerful and thrive both solo and group settings. And that is actually true, as there is a card that does damage over time. Damage over time called the Fire Elf. We'll be dealing with Fire Elves once we get to Fire Cat Alley. Hopefully in a later episode, because this episode will be dedicated to Unicorn Lane. The starting area of Wizard City. Let's go. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? Boy. No. 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 Oh, come on. Isn't there any short... Eh, I guess that works. Black. No, wait. Brown. Yeah, let's just go with black. Eyes.
stars. I wonder if they're premium. Also choose to add face paint if you want. Of course, we also have the symbols for each of the schools. And I put markings on the death, life, and myth. Unfortunately, I put myth on death. Which I guess is a big weak point for my death character, so I guess I'll just have to change that. As for this one, I'll give him fire. Also, oh, wait. there's also accessories. We only have glasses, unfortunately. Let's go with round glasses. Okay, for hat color, we'll go red with a orange tint. No, 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 wait. An orange hat with a red tint. Yeah, that looks better. Robes. I'll do the same. Orange. With red. Next. Remember, if you ever wish to alter your appearance in the future, simply pay a visit to the Magic Mirror Shop in the shopping district. All right then. What is your name? Uh, let's see. Not naming myself Cass. And I'm not naming myself Christopher because that's my brother's name. Colin, Connor, Corwin, Cohen. Uh, Coil, Dakota. Daniel, David, Devin, Digby, um, Dugan, Duncan, Dustin, Dylan. Uh, let's just name this one after Dustin. More specifically, just Dustin. J U S T Dustin. I've been a subscriber for a long time, and I have watched some of his latest videos. <laughs> okay, let's see... Uh... Well, let's do... Oh. Fire. And no, not thief. Thorn. Uh, fault. 
Fucker, Bard, Creed, Beaver, Whisper, Healer, Wraith. Obviously, we're not gonna make it flank. Firebane, Blade, Blood, Bloom, Blossom, Brand, Breaker, Breath, Breeze, Bright, Bringer, Caller, Caster. Well, I am a fire caster, so I guess that would be fitting, wouldn't it? Okay, done. We start out as a level 1 novice pyromancer. And unfortunately, I never got around to putting the makeup on my... on my... con... on my conjurer the symbols. I did so with Jacob Titan Fist, my third third guest, which third guest, which is my life magic, and Flint X Forge, my death magic. We also have fire and myth. Let's go. Well, hello. If it isn't our newest student, my name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting great things from you. But first things first. To move around, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Try it now. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to Gamma and follow his instructions to talk. My name is Gamma the Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. That doesn't look good. Oh! How odd. Hmm. Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower! Who's there? Malister. Ambrose. Meet Malister, the main antagonist of Wizards 101, and the man I am going to use my own hard-earned money to be chasing after. So I hope you're all grateful. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. Run up and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. Freedom! You've drawn these spells from your deck. Quickly! You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malister's henchmen by... I hate sitting through tutorials, but this is for the sake of the video. Still hate it. to pay attention to your current health. Draconian. 
This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh my, uh, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. Damn it. Where were we then? Right. Attack him. Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. spells.
Here, young wizard, take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now, pick another spell and cast it at one of them. That spell reduced the power of your own spell. At last, you fools earn your keep. Now, finish the child. Cast this balance blade spell on yourself. This one learns fast, Maristair. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this Meteor Strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the bits to cast it with. With the Balance Blade spell, Excellent work, young wizard. Now, another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. He's gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. Oh my, you look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, congratulations! Defeating Maristair's henchmen has earned you some experience. This experience bar will help you track your progress. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Now, do you have any questions? Yep. What? Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat and we'll see this is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. You have the way of it. Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. You'll also need a spellbook and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. Oh, who knows? 
Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? I'll see you soon. Welcome to Ravenwood Academy, young wizard. <laughs> and normally, this is the time that you've demonstrated such potential, I think practical experience will serve you better than lectures. Care to put your talents to the test? Splendid! Time is of the essence, so I'll teleport you there directly. Seek out Private Connolly, the wizard city guard in charge of that area. Welcome to Unicorn Way. There are creatures here who will attack you if you get too close to them, so stick to the task at hand. Whoa, 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 young student. The street's very dangerous right now. Is there something I can help you with? Wizard, do you see the symbol above Private Connolly's head? That means he has something important to tell you. Go speak with him. What's up? You say the headmaster sent you to help us. Well then. You're just the person, the wizard, I've been waiting for. This used to be a pleasant street. The guards and I have been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. Maybe your fancy wizard magic will do the trick. Go battle a few of those lost souls, then report back to me. Good luck! To battle the monsters, run up to them on the street. want to avoid battle, you can keep safe by staying on the sidewalk. If you can drive away some of these lost souls, we'll be in your debt. We got spell cards to use them for a reason. Let's go. By the way, I will be playing one of my other characters in order to unlock the world, so that way we can go with the playthrough unimpeded. However, there might be some gaps here and there between the playthroughs. While your character is transparent, you are safe from combat, but it only lasts for a short time. Get to the sidewalk before it wears off. Oh, 
Joy, we'll follow your lead and start pushing these ghostly things back. away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. We've got to find out what's behind this. Another intrepid student, Siri Nightshed, also came to help. Maybe he's learned something useful. If you'll excuse me everyone, I need to throw away my dessert. I meant the trash from my dessert. I already ate my dessert. Alexa, stop! here, aren't you? Well, I for one am very glad you're here. I couldn't help but notice how you took down those lost souls. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by your spell-slinging skills. When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Pah! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies. Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about Skeletal pirates, if you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Great! I'll mark their location on your map. Thank you so much for doing this. Good luck! Ooh, press M to access your map. You'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know how to regain health and mana. If you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps you see along the street. Ooh, if you need mana, collect blue wisps. Remember, casting spells costs mana, and fleeing combat drains it completely. So keep your reserves full. Go battle a few of the skeleton pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their combat tactics. I'm glad I overheard you two wizards talk about those pesky skeletal pirates. They're looting the street and making such a mess. If something isn't done, we could be forced to leave the city. Please, will you help us? Olivia is offering you a side quest. Once you accept it, press Q to open your quest log. Quests marked with stars are part of the main story. Side quests are optional, but allow you to gain additional rewards. Good hunting! for a cremation.
parley. Ye got guts, little wizard. More than us, to be sure. But ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> child. I don't have much to offer in thanks, but please take this magic ring. Maybe it'll help you in your adventures. To put on new equipment, press B to open your backpack. You will see icons showing your hat, robes, shoes, and other items. Mousing over an item will compare its stats to what you currently have equipped. Select the best equipment available to your school. Again, young wizard. Maybe I can find another helpful young wizard to help sweep up all these eye patches. I mean, uh, how'd it go? What if the pirates warned about a rattle in the darkness? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. What is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. There is a powerful, ancient being who may be able to help us understand the dark forces we're facing, the wise seraph Lady Oriel. Not only does Lady Ariel possess strong magic, she's also the Warden of the Fairies, and they keep her well informed. Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. What purpose brings you into our hedge maze? 
Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. Vile bone cages have appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages, then bring me fairy dust from those it corrupted. It may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust, return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. Now we just need to focus on the bone cages and getting through this last part on the unicorn way. probably get a health wisp just to be safe. Oh, by the way, there's actually something I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video. You can actually get Wizards 101 on Steam. That's how I'm playing it. On Steam. Oh, I just feel the darkness down in my bones. But now that terrible cloud has been lifted. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
And I'm recording this very late at night. Well, 10 o'clock at night, actually. Anyway, you just need to talk to Lady Oreo, then go back to Seelan, then go fight the You hear a tiny, bones. joyful voice call your name. Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk. Oh, and by the way, there's actually something I forgot to mention about the life magic. She is actually a playable card in the life magic arsenal, which you get from talking to Miss... Miss Wu in the life school. You've cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Is that? But how? The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic banished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle in the darkness? Rattle bones. In life, a ruthless tyrant who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. You must hurry. Here, take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much faster. Now fly, and may the light guide you. You've received a temporary mount that will expire after one day. You can also purchase permanent mounts from mount vendors or the crown shop. To equip a mount, press B to open your backpack. Next, click on the mount tab, and double click on the mount you wish to use. Quickly, you must ride to Siren at once. Ask him if he knows of a tower ringed in bones. Go! Now, I will not be using these mounts. However, I will be getting a permanent mount for my main character, as well as the playthrough character. Both of which is going to cost a pretty penny. But it will be worth it, as we'll be able to get through this much faster, and we won't have to listen to all the dialogue all at once. I'm not really a fan of heavy dialogue games like this, but I love Wizards 101. I actually played it during school. That is, until I broke up with my first girlfriend, Brit. But I had my reasons. She was taking advantage of my good heart. Well, figuratively good heart. My heart is bad. I have an artificial valve. It's enlarged. And... I haven't been to the cardiologist in almost a year. I will be rectifying that soon. Hello! And you were gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and join the skeletal pirate crew. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? Oriel thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked! Let me think. He's in a tower ringed in bones. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Here we go to face rattle bones. And hopefully I can edit out some of the some of the video to make it shorter. By the way, it'll be good to have Wizards 101 on the uh, on the channel. And who knows? Maybe you guys, or maybe even me and Cam, can uh play 
Wizards 101. I told him it was a free game. Good work, my thrall. This could be the tome Malister seeks. Now we... What's this? A wizard? Excellent. I could use a combat break. Let's play. <laughs> now, what Malister is actually looking for will be revealed in a later episode, because it will be before we start the first of three parts of Krakotopia. For now, let's burn this sucker down. That was actually a Funhouse reference from the song Funhouse by Pink, but her lyric is more obscene, so I substitute. spell. Watch and learn. I actually forget what spell school it belongs to. <gasps> life. It's a life spell? Oh well. My storage chest. The day is yours, young one. But the Dark Master's plan is already in motion. You haven't heard the last rattle in the darkness. <laughs> How would I tear you apart and use your rib cage as a xylophone? In his haste to leave, Rattlebones dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Saren will know what should be done with it. I must admit, that is a very good luck. If you walk back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated. Abated is a term that means bleed. Well, that's a basic definition. I, I don't know what it really means. If anyone wants to tell me in the comments what abated means, I'll gladly read the comment and hopefully it's correct. You did it, didn't you? You beat Rattlebones! The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting! Look! With Rattlebones defeated, the guard should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. Ooh, that tone looks important. You should take it to the library in the commons. Harold Argleston will know what to do with it. Yes, and we can get back to the commons by pressing this button near the compass. Ah, crap. Drop my multi-tool.
We'll also try to cover the fishing tutorial before we leave. Because that's how I'm going to be getting most of the gold we're going to be receiving after after learning the basics. Those fish sell for at least a hundred gold each. And you're going to need plenty well, of hello. to gear up. I don't think I've seen you in the library before. I'm Harold Arlston, Master Librarian Extraordinaire. You say you recover this tome from an underworld tyrant who is going to give it to his dark master, Malastair? My, my, I, I, I do believe this is a matter for Headmaster Ambrose. You should take the tome to him at once. Uh, but before you go, <laughs> allow me to reward you for your heroics. Please, accept this treasure card on behalf of the denizens of Wizard City. Treasure cards are special one-use spells of various schools. You can purchase treasure cards from vendors, or craft them yourself. Press P to open your spell deck. Treasure cards are listed under a special tab, and are placed into the sideboard of your deck. During combat, right-click a regular card to discard it. Then select Draw to bring out a treasure card from your sideboard. Remember, unlike regular spell cards, treasure cards can only be used once. So, use them wisely. That's one of the places we'll be visiting to gear up. Those treasure cards are extremely powerful, especially if you manage to use them per correctly. Now, before I end the video, we'll talk to Master Ambrose, then we're going to go talk to Hooktail. He's a pelican who's, who's in charge of teaching you fishing magic. Oh good, you're back. I'm anxious to hear your update on Unicorn Way. Evil Rattlebones, you say? But he was banished centuries ago. How could he? Oh, Malisnare. Of course. But why? Rattlebones was searching the Unicorn Way archive for this tome. Well, let me see what it is. On the trail of the Order of the Fang. Oh, my stars. I will certainly look into this. While I do that, you need to attend to the matter of your long-delayed enrollment. If you are to truly master your magical talents, we must induct you officially into our academy. I'll send you now to Mr. Lincoln, our registrar in Ravenwood. He will introduce you to our professors and help you begin your studies. From time to time, you'll see icons appear on the right side of your screen. These are tooltips. Click on a tooltip to open it. Many people throughout the spiral will contact you through tooltips to announce new features, events, or spell quests. If you miss a tooltip, look for it in your tooltip log by pressing Q and clicking the top left icon. Potion flasks, like the one I just gave you, can be used to replenish your health and mana without returning to a non-combat area. If your potion flask runs out, you can replenish it by playing mini-games in the fairgrounds. Oh, and most importantly, make sure they are completely full, with a top on them, or you cannot use them when you need them. Yes, and unfortunately for me, there's only two out of the eight mini-games I am skilled at. So unfortunately, those are the only two you'll see me recharge them with. Anyway, pressing Q will open our quest log, which will allow us to see not only the tooltips, but any quests we can choose or are currently following. Damn, I forgot he's not available until we... Talk to Lincoln. Ow! Damn it. Each of the professors will have a chance to introduce themselves. I'll introduce Dahlia Falmia. 
the fire, Professor, since we'll be taking most of our time with her. Ah, you must be the new student I've heard so much about. You make quite a name for yourself on Unicorn Way. I'm Mr. Lincoln, and I just have some quick paperwork to get you enrolled. Signature here, initials there, and a lock of hair here. I'm sorry, what? Are you allergic to unicorns or eyes of Newt? Good, that takes care of that. To complete your enrollment, come meet your professors. Welcome. I am the professor of the ice school, where we teach thaumaturges to endure like permafrost, withstanding all attacks. While in the storm school, we instruct young diviners to strike hard, fast as lightning, defeat the enemy before they know what hit them. <laughs> I should have chosen Storm. We pyromancers of the Fire School prefer to carefully fan the flames. Utilizing damage over time spells, we slow burn our enemies to cinders. Commanding the elements is indeed impressive, but theurgists of the Life School seek harmony with nature, which gives us the power to heal others. Sorcerers also seek harmony. Symmetry in all things balances unique magic from Crocotopia, which supports and enhances the other schools. Fireballs and flowers. Fresh magic that. All wizards summon monsters to fight for us, but only the best conjurers dare study the ways of myth. And I'm Malone, not, um, exactly a professor. <laughs> We haven't had a real death professor since the last one turned evil and destroyed the school, so... Um, but I can get you started at being a necromancer. Our death spells drain health from enemies, damaging them, and healing ourselves at the same time. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, I sense a spark inside you. With the right training, it will become an inferno. Let's go to the fire school. She's a very slim hourglass. <laughs> a very, very slim hourglass. <laughs> and I do not regret saying that at all. <laughs> okay, let's get this over with. Welcome, wizard, to Mistress Dahlia Falmea's School of Pyromancy. You must return here often to learn new spells and expand your talents. And as the fires within you burn to even greater heights, I will call you back to teach you spells too hot for non-fire wizards to handle. For now, I have the Fire Elf spell to get you started. Train swiftly, then return to Mr. Lincoln to finalize your enrollment. You're already learning multi-bit spells? Oh, splendid! At the beginning of each round of combat, you gain a pip. You use these, like mana, to power spells. Some spells, like this one, take more than one pip to cast. To use it, pass a turn. Or cast a zero pip spell to build up your pip supply. Here we have a complete collection of the fire spells. The fire elf is the only one we have. But as we continue, we will unlock Glacier Shield, then Sunburn, then Fire Drop, then the Meteor Strike, which we used in the tutorial, then Wildfire, then Phoenix, then the Na Napalm Scarab, then the Glacial Gull, which only requires the first card. And of course, the Elephant, which has similar damage. Well, actually, has higher damage. Uh, uh, Odd. I was talking to my staff, talking into my black staff, and my voice was changing. Anyway, after the elephant, we also have the Inferno Salamander, level 45, which unfortunately requires the spell card Skull. 
which does 525 fire damage over three rounds to every opponent you're facing. I would say that's useful, in a way. But we've got a long way before we go there. And a long way until we reach the final world where Drop uh, Malister resides. Dragon Spire. That is the only thing I'm going to say. You've met the professor! Great! You can train spells in your school for free, but to learn other school spells, you must spend training points. Here, I'll give you one now. Use it to start training a secondary school. And if you change your mind later, see me to buy back training points. Anyway, now that you're enrolled, you get your own dorm room to store items and decorate however you want. This is the boys' dorm here. And this is the girls' dorm. You can also use the Go Home button to reach your dorm room from anywhere. Once you get settled in, report to the headmaster. Now, who should we train with? Balance. Storm. Frost. Yeah. Such... Emptying offers. On the other side, we have life, myth, and of course there would be death, but unfortunately it's been blasted off. And of course we do reach it in a later quest. Wood. Sweet. You've just collected a reagent. Reagents are used as ingredients in crafting recipes. You can find different reagents throughout the spiral, either by harvesting them, defeating monsters, or purchasing them. Reagents go in your reagent bag, which you can access by selecting the crafting tab in your spellbook, or by pressing J on your keyboard. since we have two we have two uh, training points we can invest them in two different schools meaning of course we can have three schools or all seven if you're willing to farm training points So I think the first one we spend points on will be with Miss Grey Rose. Of course, since we also have another spell card, we can either choose to get the one from Miss Lydia, or we can uh, go to the storm and get the first card from there. Actually, I think I'll just get the final card from the snow. That snow serpent seems surprisingly useful. And I know people are going to comment saying that I'm s that I'm hissing on purpose because of the fact it's a serpent. Well, I happen to hiss whenever I say something with an S in it. But then again, who doesn't? And unfortunately, we need to be level 12 in order to buy back our points.
It's almost 1040. Let's talk to Mr. Ambrose and end the video here. You're officially enrolled now? <laughs> then let me formally welcome you with this new healing spell. Let me also introduce you to our resident advisor, Abby K. Dooley. She can tell you all about our many electives when you have time. But on to our serious matters. It seems the troubles in Unicorn Way were but the tip of an evil iceberg. While you were gone, chaos erupted all over the city. Undead run amok in the streets. Our former allies have turned against us. Malice must be behind this. Your victory on Unicorn Way makes you the perfect person to deal with this crisis. I foresaw you might save Wizard City. Now's your chance. Go to Old Town and talk to Sergeant Muldoon immediately. We must set things right and discover Malister's goal in all this. Good luck. One last word before you embark on your quest. I've tried to answer most of the questions you have, but there is much more to tell you. If you haven't looked into your spell book yet, click on the book in the bottom right of your screen. Click on the question mark tab. Many of the questions you might have are answered in the help pages. Oh, good luck, young wizard. Abby K. Doodle is just optional. And to try to reduce the length, even though one hour is by no means short, I'm just going to go up to the fishing guy and start up the first fishing quest so we can start. His name is Hucky, Lucky Hookla. still tell you how to do it. When you're near a body of water, a certain tab on the side near the spell book, near the spell book will appear. It's the fishing spell tab. Over here, near the health and mana orbs, there will be an energy orb. And this is used for extra items such as crafting, fishing, all sorts of stuff. Basically, you choose a spell from the fishing spell tab, and whatever you use will cost a certain amount of energy points. From one to nine, basically, from Lucky Hookline. And from anywhere else, probably more. There are advanced fishing spells, but his spells are the only ones I have access to since there's no fishermen in Crocotopia. At least that I know of. Like I said, you guys can tell me this in the comments below. I don't really know. Anyway. You see those fish shadows in the lake? You need to get the bobber right in front of them, so you need to keep the casting angle right in front of them so they'll bite. When they do, just wait for them for it to go under the water, then hit spacebar. If the lure you use matches the school of the fish, and yes, they all match the specific types of schools, including the celestial schools, which we'll get into later in the playthrough, hopefully. But... Anyway, as I was saying, if the lure matches the fish, you'll have a greater chance of catching them. And 
as I've said, you can sell them for at least a hundred. The price will rain will differentiate depending on the size of the fish, as well as the rarity and weight. Or should I say, length. And if you catch multiple fish, that will go towards your grand total as well. And if you don't want to sell them, you can buy aquariums from where I don't know, and put them in your dorm room. Like I said, once we manage to get fishing unlocked, I'll catch a full page of fish, provided my energy allows it. Then we'll start farming gold for the shopping district. In the shopping district, there's a shop for amulets, wands, robes, Athens, which are based off of real real life ritual knives, gems, which are used to augment your gear, uh, the dye shop, the dye shop that allows you to recolor your gear, the magic mirror shop that will let you change your appearance, the hat shop, the, the pet shop, <clears throat> the shoe shop, the deck shop, the ring shop, the castle block recipe shop, the house shop, We'll be coming here soon. Just as soon as I manage to farm up 8,000 coins. My original character, the Necromancer, and the life... the life, uh, wizard, has managed to get... has managed to get quite a lot of coin off of the fishing. And trust me, you don't make a lot from, from fighting monsters unless you farm the boss monsters, like Rattlebones. You can also earn bonus gold from fighting characters in PvP or farming bosses. Smite so I can get the daily reward for today. And yes, I also do play Smite. Unfortunately, unless I can find a way to minimize it into a window, I may not be able to record it.
have a pet egg in your inventory. Once it hatches, you can equip the pet just as you would a wand and bring it into the tower. A cinder serpent. If you not every title is as easy to gain as you have just badges for achievements that you will earn throughout your adventures. Each one has its own some badges will lead you to defeat a certain number of foes, and others will require that you complete heroic deeds. Good luck in fun. You've just received an egg in your backpack. It's not a pet yet, but you can mouse over it to see how long the egg will take to hatch. Once it hatches, you can equip it just as you would any other pet. And believe me, there are some store there are some optional quests that require you to use your pet in order to find buried items. But like I said, we don't have time. So, thank you all for watching, this has been Orc Chef Cooker, and I hope to see you all in Wizard City soon. This is Orc Chef Cooker, signing out. <laughs>